तो हो गया था मेरे ख्याल तो ये डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर वेरी सॉरी बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स इंटरनेट इशू वी आर नॉट एबल टू लॉग इन बट नाउ वी हैव ट्राइड आवर बेस्ट एंड आई थिंक वी वी आर नाउ ऑनलाइन आई होप यू कैन सी मी एंड यू कैन लिसन मी इफ देर इज एनी प्रॉब्लम प्लीज प्लीज सेंड मी द मैसेज सो दैट वी कैन करेक्ट इट हेयर वी आर ट्राइंग अवर हार्ट सो लेट एस लेट एस स्टार्ट द टॉपिक अप्रोच टू ए पेशेंट विद स्नेक बाइट so this is a topic that has uh, not been covered very broadly in earlier trainings so uh, i i hope that uh, we would learn something today and uh, uh, this is the beginning we would uh, further uh, refine the things in due uh, due course of time and uh, repeat the talks and add new new things to the snake bite management especially in uh, himachal pradesh so this is the government of india manual on standard treatment guidelines on management of snake bite and uh, uh, this presentation is broadly based on uh, uh, this uh, this manual uh, but we have added many practical things from west bengal from uk from other international sources national sources so i hope you to be, you would be uh, you would learn a lot of things uh, and please give your feedback so you would be surprised there are 3750 species as of january this year this is the latest uh, survey and uh, 5.4 million people are bitten by snakes and half of them develop clinical illness after snake bite I mean 50% of the bite are almost uh, uh, poisonous uh, and uh, more than a lakh people die every year uh, due to snake bite so this is from snake bite in when winning who data and in india we have th about 300 species of snake bite out of which 52 are venomous and uh, around 6 lakh uh, bites are there and 30% of their uh, the bites are venomous so that mean 70% bites are non venomous so only 30% bites are there but still we have one of the highest death rate in the world that is 58000 as per the latest publication of 2020 so 58000 that mean every 10 minutes or 15 minutes a person dies of snake bite in in india and uh, more surprisingly 70% of these deaths are in bihar jharkhand madhya pradesh odisha uttar pradesh and andhra pradesh that means overall burden is six deaths per so most of the bites are due to russell viper uh, followed by crate bites and then cobra though maybe it's in himachal uh, but otherwise this is a uh, all india data and we have three families of venomous uh, snakes that is elapid elapidi bepridi and colubridi so this is millennium death study you can see the red areas which are high snake burden we, we our our state has not been covered in this survey but the latest data uh, from india that says himachal pradesh has around 2000 snake bites uh, cases and around 30 deaths but again there is a huge difference between reporting of the snake bite and actual deaths in india so this is again uh, trend in snake bite deaths you can see the dots they all represent the deaths Uh, so it's the, all the countries uh, you know you can see dotted with deaths of uh, due to snake bite you can see a, a russell viper in a paddy field so this is a most dangerous uh, occupation for the farmers economic losses has been calculated they they uh, they stand at 4345 us dollars uh that is equal to 12 years income of agriculture worker in india uh, sometimes uh, government hospital do offer free treatment and uh, but still people are indebted and they are forced to sell their cattle valuables bicycle motorcycle lands so this uh, this is a uh, big problem in the hinterland so coming to himachal these are the snakes that we have caught live and photographed you can see russell viper himalayan pit viper uh then uh, green pit viper then coral snake from kullu 
then you can see crate uh, crate and black cobra central asian cobra so these are the uh, uh, seven uh, venomous snakes that have been found in uh, in himachal pradesh we have not uh, uh, found any any uh, saw scale viper till now but we are still in search snakes that we have we could get hold of in himachal pradesh or non venomous snakes they are uh, they are long in size and uh, different colors are there and uh, i would say we should not try to distinguish uh, non venomous venomous snakes from venomous snakes because we may mistake a venomous uh, snake as non venomous and uh, any uh, any uh, fiddling with that uh, uh, that may co cause injury or maybe in venomization so these are uh, again uh, non venomous snakes of himachal pradesh that has been caught live and photographed so now we would go uh, to main uh, two varieties cobra and common crate that is, that has been pictured together because they are neurotoxic snakes and the little difference between their action is that cobra is post synaptic uh, uh, action and uh, common crate has a pre synaptic action so uh, this is uh, keeping this in mind we would proceed how to manage their bites so you can see uh, uh, mystery of crate we would discuss uh, mostly crate bites in the night painless and their fangs are so small that sometimes they are not visible and systemic sign may come after uh, after 24 hours so person may present with uh, pain abdomen arthralgia vomiting sore throat not at all related to snake bite but actually it is a crate bite and uh, maybe sometimes some all uh, no ptosis uh, is a very important sign that may come early this uh, stage at early ptosis stage may save a life of the patient so you should always suspect a snake bite if it is uh, bite in the night and patient you admit the patient keep the patient uh, in in uh, observation at least for 24 hours this this is a must you must admit start iv line uh, keep uh, uh, the patient for 24 hours and when you discharge the patient uh, symptom of envenom can come late no this is a cobra bite again 65 years some of the uh, examples from the field first symptom is weakness of face and eyelids so you can imagine cobra uh, um, i would say fatal sometimes so early symptom is just uh, weakness of face and eyelids so no uh, atropine neostigmine injection this is very important thing that in, in such cases uh, where you feel weakness of the face eyelids ptosis uh, you can uh, try uh, atropine uh, neostigmine and uh, if it improves it is cobra bite if it does not improve it may be crate bite so that is that is the main uh, difference between cobra and crate bite ptosis ptosis is the same symptom is same but when you give adrenaline uh, atropine neostigmine uh, does not improve maybe it is crate bite and this these are the two examples this lady was given 18 vials of asv but was not given atropine neostigmine and she died despite giving 18 vials of uh, anti snake venom Simil similarly our uh, uh, friend in one of the ngos in west bengal jayadev mondal he died after 20 vials but uh, very uh, uh, it is very uh, no painful to say that he was not given uh, 20 vials of anti snake venom so you can imagine the importance of neostigmine at there there the life saving drugs apart from anti snake venom so always try atropine and neostigmine whether it is a cobra bite or, uh, or crate bite and it can be life saving so uh, this is the uh, some uh, 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 some text from harrison textbook so they say that give atropine 0.6 m, m mg iv and uh, then treat with neostigmine 1.5 to 2 mg im this is that and if the condition improves give more uh, neostigmine 0.5 and uh, atropine 0.6 and uh, continue uh, uh, no every 30 minutes uh, so that uh, uh, you can continue the infusion over 8 hours and uh, this would this can be life saving now we turn to vipers you, you, you know green pit viper we have green pit viper we have russell vipers a saw scale viper we have not seen till but these two vipers are there so uh, especially russell viper is very poisonous and these are the vipers are hemotoxic so now earlier we discussed the neurotoxic snakes now we are discussing hemotoxic snakes so you can see uh, hemotoxic snake pain and slow uh, uh, there is slow swelling sometimes ignored bleeding from any site maybe bite and uh, clotting disorders may be there late hematuria may be there oliguria may be there acute renal failure may be there so what we do is we do 20 wbct test that mean 20 whole blood clotting test 
So, that would sh show that whether we have a hemat hemat hematological uh, abnormality in clotting of blood. So, from there we uh, com come to know that it is a hemotoxic uh, snake bite. So, sometime in hemotoxic uh, bites there is a vomiting, fainting attacks, pain abdomen, hematoma, tinge and swelling at the bite site. I would uh, uh, touch little bit on um, on the apparatus, venom apparatus. Uh, uh, you can see in vipers, uh, the fangs are long and highly mobile. So, they are foldable like viper I show, showed you, they are fold foldable and they are retractory against the roof of the mouth when the snake is at rest and brought to an upright position for a strike. And in lapids, the fangs are shorter, relatively fixed in a erect, uh, and in erect position. You can see this uh, this one of the beautiful photograph by Vishal Santra of a uh, post mortem snake. Uh, uh, this is cobra, and you can see venomous uh, gland. And behind the venomous gland, there is a compressor uh, compressor muscle, muscle, and below the eye, the, uh, there is a gland duct, and it goes to fangs, and fangs are fixed. So, uh, this is a very uh, important thing that must be kept in mind. So, venom consists of uh, different type of proteins, non enzymatic uh, polypeptide toxin, non toxin proteins, non protein ingredients include carbohydrates, metals, lipids, free amino acid, nucleosides, biogenic amines such as serotonin and acetylcholine. So, this is the uh, this is the, uh, diagram I have taken from the national uh, snake bite gui management guidelines. You can refer to them uh, in the internet. Uh, the composition of uh, 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 and antigenicity of snake venoms. So, composition and antigenicity vary from region to region, from snake to snake, from species to species. So, that is why it is a it is a tough decision and it decision should be based on the locally uh, prevalent snakes. Uh, though we should not go, we should not go much into this because uh, we have only one uh, polyvalent antivenom that is for four, four type of snakes that is majority uh, majority prevalent in the country and in our area in Himachal Pradesh as well. So, because antivenom is the same, we should not uh, bother much about the identity of the snake or geography and other things. So, we will now discuss management of snake bite, first aid, transport, rapid clinical assessment, detailed clinical assessment, investigations, antivenom treatment, observing the response to antivenom, decision whether further dose of antivenom are required, supportive treatment, treatment of the bitten part. So, uh, I would say uh, under underline that do not wash the bite, bite site, rather do not disturb the bite site, uh, just immobilize the bitten part like we do uh, for the fractured uh, limb. So, that uh, movement is restricted and the flow of the venom to other parts is uh, slowed down or is contained. So, uh, do it right is uh, this is a beautiful uh, pre presentation by an NIDU, NIDUs. Uh, reassure, immobilize, go to hospital, tell the doctor what happened. So, this is very uh, important to uh, first aid that I, I would say uh, to hospital, tell the doctor. Now, do not, but uh, immobilize the part like this, uh, so that uh, this uh, this does not occlude to, uh, to uh, put a some support and then uh, put a crepe bandage such, such that venous blood is occluded and not the arterial blood. More important also is to remove all the rings, uh, all the constriction uh, you know, so bangles, all the things uh, may be watch, so that uh, uh, if swelling occurs they do not occlude the blood and it would be difficult to release them later on. So, remove all the things that can constrict the parts including rings, uh, including uh, bangles and, uh, um, and the belt and all these uh, such things. You can see the damage caused by a, a ligature that has you know uh, uh, caused the gangrene of the foot and uh, it's very very it is surgical emergency and sometime we have to amputate the foot because of ligature has blocked the blood flow now another uh, we uh, in parimel we are training people to uh, use laryngeal mask airways uh, uh, these are the uh, new devices that can be put against the roof of the uh, uh, roof of the uh, throat uh, and um, uh, they, they can be connected to the embu bag and patient can be you know uh, referred in 108 by uh, 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 in a safe position by uh, left letter position. So, this uh, uh, must be tried by all the people in the PSC, so that uh, person is intubated uh, sorry person is given this LMA and is referred to appropriate health facility after ASB and other uh, interventions. 
So, we have to see the if the patient has evidence of respiratory paralysis, give oxygen by mask or LMA and intubate the patient and make management for transfer of higher facility accompanied by medical officer carrying an ambu bag, additional uh, endotracheal tubes, oxygen face masks, basic drugs for resuscitation must be there. So, this is a part of the national protocol that has been given by the uh, uh, government of India. And uh, as told, administer uh, atropine neostigmine before transferring to a hospital as recommended above. You give injection tetanus toxide and all the antibiotics and all other things. Patient would be placed under observation for 24 hours. And uh, if no symptom develop after 24 hours, patient can be discharged. However, patient should come if he feels any symptom at home, uh, a symptom can appear later as well. Discourage the use of ineffective and potentially harmful drugs such as corticosteroids, antihistaminics, and heparin, etc. So, this is a uh, primary health center. Uh, what are the guidelines there that has been devised, that has been uh, given by Government of India to all primary health centers? Even Himachal High Court has given a direction that every primary health center should have anti snake venom and anti rabies vaccine. So, these are the direction of the Himachal High Court, and we must uh, know, follow them. So, assess the circulation, airway, breathing. These three things are to be assessed. Circulation, airway, breathing. Establish large bore intravenous excess and start normal saline flow. Before removal of the tonic ligature, test for the presence of uh, uh, pulse uh, distal to tonic. If the pulse is absent, ensure a doctor is present before the removal of the ligature. In case of clinically confirmed venomous, uh, venomous venomous void, tonic should be removed only after starting a loaded dose of ASB and keep atropine neostigmine uh, injection ready. Carry out a simple medical assessment including history and simple physical examination, local swelling, painful tender uh, lymph nodes, persistent bleeding from the white side, blood pressure, pulse rate, bleeding and all these things. You can do uh, uh, 20 minutes uh, whole blood clotting test as well at this stage to know whether the bite is hemotoxic or neurotoxic. Um, uh, so, if it, uh, it if it uh, blood is clotted, continue. Just a so clotting test twenty WBC is in in a clean new dry glass test tube. Glass test tube. It should be glass test tube, not uh, any other tube. Otherwise, false test would come. And uh, if uh, don't write never uh, write a positive or negative report. Uh, if if the blood is clotted, continue every one hour. Uh, uh, repeat the um, test so that uh, if uh, there is a uh, impact of the venom is late, so the W twenty WBC test uh, would come positive later on. So it uh, is that's why we should not be uh, in a hurry to say positive or negative. We should continue repeating the uh, test, maybe one hour or half an hour. Give analgesia by mouth if required. Paracetamol, acetaminophen. And some people try tred, um, tramadol, but don't give opioids or you uh, know uh, any such things. Access uh, the need and feasibility of transporting the assess the need and feasibility of transporting the patient. If the necessary skill equipment, antivenin and other drugs are available, intravenous fluid to correct the hypovolemic shock. Similarly, uh, the uh, pre-medication you can start uh, giving pre-medication of adrenaline, zero point two five milligram. Uh, 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 subcutaneously and then start anti snake venom. This is to prevent uh, any uh, uh, anti snake uh, any shock due, uh, due to anti anti venom therapy. So this is the these are the guidelines for district hospital. All these guidelines are given in a manual that you can access and, uh, on online. We would come to uh, detailed uh, management of the patient uh, transport to the hospital. Uh, arrange transport of the patient to the medical care as as, as possible as early as possible uh, call the vehicle number 108 uh, or use boat cycle motorcycle whatever so we have to immobilize the patient assess the patient uh, put a iv line and uh, uh, think if it is serious emergency uh, you can uh, give atropine neostigmine and then you can give anti snake venom and uh, you can use LMA and uh, transport the patient to the higher facility with the doctor, uh, 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 doctor on the patient side. That is the uh, that is what the guidelines say from the PSC to uh, district hospital. So this uh, already discussed. Uh, in case of clinically conf confirmed venomous bite, remove tonic only after starting a loading dose of ASB. Already discussed. 
keep near uh, atropinous tigmine injection ready and if it is neurotoxic by it you, you should uh, um, give the injection atropine neuro, neuro, neuro tigmine. So, if there are so many uh, multiple ligature all the ligatures can be released in emergency room except the most proximal one which should only be released after admission and all the preparations are in place. Then uh, you have to take history just to uh, uh, again reconfirm the uh, see the bite side which is its uh, swelling is there or not, what the patient was doing, what is likelihood of which snake it, 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 it can be hemotoxic or neurotoxic. So, uh, all these uh, things should be uh, recorded uh, recorded in the history sheet. So, similarly uh, uh, all general examination local swelling, pain, abdominal, abdominal tenderness, sign of any bleeding, syncope, difficulty in swelling, uh, examination of the bitten power, pulse, pulse distal to fang marks, look for other symptom of envenoming, uh, then CNS examination all these uh, tosses, uh, broken neck syndrome, paradoxical respiration tone and power of limb muscles, look for signs suggesting intracranial hemorrhage or thrombosis, observe involuntary movements such as fasciculations, myo, uh, myokymia etcetera. Then uh, look for respiratory system assessment, uh, where possible serial objective measurement of ventilatory capacity, uh, single breath count, uh, how many uh, number of digits counts in one exhalation. Uh, exhal, exhalation uh, uh, normal is more than 30, similarly breath holding time normal is uh, more than 45 second, ability to complete one sentence in one breath. So, these are the uh, uh, tests that can be done at the PSC level. Then very important uh, focus that I have already made a separate slide is fixed dilated pupil in case of snake bite is not a sign of death. Definitely they are re uh, reversed and uh, there are many people have uh, declared such people as brain dead and uh, sent home and they came alive there are so many stories. So, uh, do not assume that snake bitten uh, patient are unconscious or even irreversibly brain dead just because their eyes are closed or their pupil are fixed they are unresponsive to painful stimuli are reflexic or have fixed dilated pupil they may merely be paralyzed they may be severely paralyzed and lack motor responses or spontaneous eye movements mimicking coma check pulse heart sound and if possible do ECG. So, this is a snake bite algorithm uh, how to approach the snake bite which is already there in the in the manual. Uh, please uh, go to your internet site and write national snake bite guidelines 2019 you would get the manual and uh, you can see from here that how we rule out how we start uh, looking at the sign and symptom and then, then uh, think of neurotoxic snake uh, or homotoxic snake and then out of neurotoxic snake if it is responding to atropine neostigmine it is cobra and if it is not responding to atropine neostigmine it is great and in hemotoxic uh, snake bite we have to you know uh, immediately correct the hematological abnormalities and uh, keep the patient uh, uh, in a in a good uh, having a good volume uh, circulatory volume and compensate the uh, the uh, blood loss. So, uh, investigation I have already told you 20 minutes WBCT test for hemotoxic snake bite uh, 2 ml of freshly sampled bl uh, venous blood in a small new dry glass vessel not commonly available. Uh, not commonly available plastic tube or tube with anticoagulant. So, do not use the plastic tubes otherwise it will give false. Uh, so, we should have all these atropine, neostigmine and uh, 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 injections and then these glass tubes in the at the PSC level. So, that we can assess the patient there in the, at the PSC level. Then uh, keep this uh, leave this uh, blood 2 ml of blood in the uh, glass test tube undisturbed for 20 minutes at ambient temperature tilt the vessel once after 20 minutes if the blood is still liquid and runs out the patient is hypofibrinogenemia uh, uh, and that means uh, there is a hemotoxic uh, snake bite mostly due to vipers. So, false negative uh, uh, the results in 20 WBC test come when uh, if the vessel used for the test is not made of ordinary glass or if, if it has been cleaned with detergent, uh, its uh, wall may not be suitable for clotting of the blood sample and test will be invalid. If there is any doubt repeat the test in duplicate including the healthy control. So, keep a uh, control of a healthy person, blood of a healthy person and then compare the both. 
सो फॉल्स नेगेटिव रिजल्ट ए फॉल्स नेगेटिव ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू बी सी मे अकर इन पेशेंट विद मल्डर डिग्री ऑफ कोगुलोपैथी सो दैट इज द ओनली थिंग बी आर इट कैन बी फॉल्स अदरवाइज मोस्टली इट इज फॉल्स बिकॉज बी आर डूइंग इट रॉन्ग इन द एबसेंस ऑफ अल्टरनेटिव सिंपल बेड साइड टेस्ट ऑफ ब्लड कोगुलोपैथी अवेलेबल इन हॉस्पिटल इन द डेवलपिंग बर्ड द ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू बी सी टी टेस्ट शुड कंटिन्यू बी टू बी यूज एंटीवीन ट्रीटमेंट शुड नॉट बी डिलेड इफ देर इज अदर एविडेंस ऑफ स्पोटेनियस सिस्टमिक ब्लीड इफ देर इज पेशेंट हैज कम ऑलरेडी पेशेंट इज कमिंग ब्लीडिंग एंड ऑलरेडी ट्वेंटी मिनट्स है पास्ट सो यू शुड इमीडिएटली थिंक ऑफ गिविंग ए एंटी स्नेक विन विदाउट डूइंग द ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू बी सी टेस्ट बिकॉज वी के नॉट वेस्ट ट्वेंटी मोर मिनट्स ऑलरेडी यू कैन सी दैट पेशेंट इज ब्लीडिंग फॉर द लास्ट वन एंड हाफ एन आवर सो यू कॉन्ट पुट द पेशेंट रिस्क एट रिस्क एंड डोंट यू टेक द ब्लड यू डू इट बट स्टार्ट एंटी स्नेक विनम and in the case of neurotoxic and minimization repeat clotting test after 6 hours because sometime neurotoxic snakes also show hemotoxic tendencies in a patient so the, that's very important and we should keep that uh, neurotoxic snake also can be hemotoxic so don't uh, neglect this aspect of hemodynamism in uh, in case of bites by neurotoxic snake so you can see uh, this is the this is the 20 wc test put in a test tube kept uh, undisturbed for 20 minutes and then in glass test tube or glass vial can also be used and if you see in the plastic syringe this this test is invalid and we should not uh, use plastic uh, syringe uh, for doing this test uh and you avoid urine test to diagnose uh, snake bite mostly hemochuria for hemochuria look for hemochuria and uh, sometimes we misdiagnose uh, the the test you uh, know uh, rbc in urine may mislead uh, 20 wbc is for more uh, practicable and dependable rbc in urine come later in russell viper bite when there is renal damage so it come later not early uh, it's not early sign neurotoxic bite with old renal disease may mislead so these are the some of the practical examples from the field we should not go into much into the identification of the snake Uh, because we don't want to lose time but we should try uh, taking history from uh, patient or from relatives just uh, for our knowledge if the snake does not belong to the four sp- four species for which the anti venom is made we may not uh, think of giving anti venom that is the only thing that we may uh, inquire for uh, identity of the snake or sometime people have brought dead snake or sometime we can show them the pictures which snake must have uh, you, you have seen or you have not seen so uh, uh, this is important in case the snake is other than the four for which anti venom is available so anti venom is uh, specific for against uh, four species and is polyvalent so this is anti venom uh, 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 anti snake venom this is polyvalent and this is for four uh, species that is for spectable cobra that we say naza naza common crate russell viper and saw scale viper so this is this is the this is a slide that should be you should capture in your mind and the uh, their distribution geographical distribution in india is also represented in a in, in the map you can see long side this snake cobra is almost everywhere and even uh, crate is almost except you know uh, northeast and some parts of the j and k and saw scale vipers uh, is there so these are the four snakes in the for which the anti snake venom is available if we are definite that this uh, the snake is some uh, some other snake is there and not all uh, out of these four so we may avoid giving anti snake venom because the cross reactivity is very minimal and there there is ant- the danger of ant- anti venom reaction is also there so we have to manage the patient conservatively and uh, only in case of all these four snakes or if the neurotoxic signs are there hemotoxic signs are there only then we have to use anti snake venom so here lies our intelligence that we should uh, know take careful history and we should uh, carefully monitor the sign and symptom of snake bite anti venom is the only specific antidote to snake bite the a most important decision in the management of snake bite victim is whether or not to give anti venom delayed administration of anti snake venom or waiting until victim develops systemic manifestation that is a 6 hour bait results in systemic envenoming and high fatality the first blood drawn from the patient should be typed and cross matched as the effect of both venom and anti snake venom can interfere with the later cross matching so it is very important that as the patient comes you draw the blood keep it uh, 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 draw in two tubes for cross matching one is uh, just empty tube and uh, one is uh, citrated blood so that that this for cross matching otherwise later on anti snake venom and the impact of venom on blood 
may uh, may interfere with the cross matching of the blood and subsequent uh, ad administration of uh, blood transfusion to the victim uh, to the snake bite victim if asb is indicated sign and symptom of elimination with or without evidence of laboratory test administer full dose without any delay don't wait for any test and any test report so if you feel the there are you see the signs and symptom of envenomation you start immediately anti snake venom without waiting the uh, reports you continue uh, taking the reports waiting for report but start anti snake venom in a patient with a history of bite known or unknown if there is spontaneous abnormal bleeding beyond 20 minutes from time of the bite start anti snake venom and don't wait for 20 wbc test report as uh, discussed earlier no skin test of anti snake venom infusion anti snake tabies uh, serum that skin sensitivity does not give the actual uh, no actual in anti snake venom the skin sensitivity test is not recommended by who because uh, the pathways of uh, the reaction are different and so uh, the anti snake venom testing skin testing does not predict accurately the uh, impeding reaction so uh, indications for anti venom systemic in meaning hemostatic abnormalities neurotoxic neurotoxic signs ptosis external of thermoplegia paralysis uh, cardiovascular abnormalities hypotension shock cardiac arrhythmia abnormal ecg acute kidney injury oliguria anuria rising blood creatinine urea uh, hemoglobin myoglobin urea dark brown urine urine uh, dip, dipstick other evidence of intravascular hemolysis or generalized rhabdomyolysis um, muscle aches pain tenderness pain uh, pain on passive stretching uh, supportive laboratory evidence of systemic anemia so all these are the uh, sign and symptoms uh, local anemia you can see uh, it is swelling involving more than half of the bitten limb if within 48 hours that is uh, taken as uh, you know ascending uh, swelling Uh, swelling after bites on the digits uh, the rapid extension of swelling uh, beyond the wrist or ankle within few hours of bite on the hands or on, on the feet development of an large tender lymph node and draining uh, the bitten limb so all these uh, are part of uh, physical examination of the patient and you should must look for sign and symptom of the envenomation now coming to uh, how much anti snake venom is reconstitute the anti snake venom uh, supplied in dry powder form by diluting it 10 ml of distilled water or normal saline done by swirling and not by vigor don't shake it otherwise there would be flocculation so just uh, try the while to you know slowly uh, rub it would not be good uh, to give a flocculated uh, uh, anti snake venom to the patient so uh, gently uh, rub between the if reconstituted solution is opaque to any extent so just uh, ha have uh, have a look on the reconstituted snake venom and if you think there is a opacity or there is any foreign particle or uh, uh, then don't use the vial and uh, reconstitute another vial and dose of anti snake venom for neuroparalytic snake bite anti snake venom 10 vials stat as infusion over 30 minutes followed by second dose of 10 vials after 1 hour if no improvement within first hour so neuroparalytic snake bite it is said that 30 vials are uh, expert say but sometime we have since patient is responding slowly so sometime more vials are used but mostly the uh, the limit is for 30 vials in a neurotoxic snake bite now uh, in hemotoxic snake bite we have two protocols that we must keep in mind one is low dose infusion therapy and other is high dose uh, intermittent bolus therapy so low dose infusion therapy uh, we say 10 vials for russell viper and 6 vials for saw scale viper so saw scale viper require uh, be, uh, requires low very vials are enough and even russell viper requires uh, 10 to 20 vials are enough Uh, so we give 10 vials for russell viper 6 vials of asb for saw scale viper as start as infusion over 30 minutes followed by 2 vials every 6 hour as infusion in 100 ml of uh, uh, normal saline till clotting time normalizes or for 3 days whichever is whichever is earlier so this is how how we uh, deal with the russell viper and saw scale viper uh, uh, protocol is high dose intermittent bolus therapy that is 10 vials of polymolysis so this is uh, this is how we have two uh, therapies been found to be safe and very effective so we should not think more 
So, we should uh, prefer low dose uh, infusion therapy, but you can uh, do uh, you can go for high dose intermittent bolus therapy that is 10 vial of polyvalent ASB infusion followed by 6 vial 6 hourly. So, this is uh, no, this is what I was uh, question of the snake no anti snake venom for our area uh, south area like our area uh, south area like uh, battery. Like in, uh, like in uh, more of uh, uh, green pit viper. So, uh, even then uh, giving anti snake venom in green uh, sym symptomatically. Similarly, if we go for uh, uh, more of uh, uh, Himalayan pit viper, they are brown in color. So, uh, viper and green pit viper cause hem hem hematological abnormalities and uh, 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 the the blood clotting is uh, you know impaired, so, but then uh, so we should go symptomatic therapy like infusion of fresh frozen plasma. Fluid challenge must be stopped immediately if pulmonary edema develops. If the urine output does not improve, it is reasonably a platform a uh, 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 it is reasonable to perform a furosemide stress challenge test. Insert a urethral catheter, but in male patient try using a condom catheter first. Furosemide stress challenge uh, 1 to 1 1.5 milligram per kg of furosemide is injected slowly intravenously and urine output is monitored after uh, for 2 hours. A urine output of less than 200 ml in hour predicts progressive uh, progression of renal failure. And these are the acute kidney, kidney injury that should be kept in mind while uh, dealing with the snake bite. So, these are all the uh, uh, parameters that are to be uh, uh, taken care of in acute kidney injury. So, diuret diuretic phase of renal failure uh, and then alkalinize uh, diuresis is forced alkaline diuresis you know how to do it. Management of shear acidosis all these things should be kept in mind. And then comes uh, apart from systemic uh, management come management of locus sphere envenoming it is very important clean the bitten site with povidine iodine solution gently, but do not apply any dressings. Leave blisters alone, allow them to break spontaneously and heal. If there is a local necrosis, ex excise and apply saline dressing. Surgical decompensation may be necessary in some cases. Furthermore, the presence of venom in blisters fluid suggests that it may represent a reservoir of venom for further diffusion into the tissues, hence, supporting the concept that aseptic removal of blister fluid with trial syringe may reduce the extent and time dependence of venom induced tissue damage. So, if there are blisters that having fluid you drain the fluid gently by using a trial syringe because these blisters this fluid in the blisters may contain some uh, residual anti uh, residual venom that can uh, further damage the tissue locally. Administer booster dose of tetanus oxide for mild pain uh, give paracetamol. Uh, uh, do not use aspirin or other non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs in case of severe pain in adults. Uh, tablet tramadol 50 mg or injection tramadol are used. Avoid drugs such as sedatives, uh, pethidine, morphine, neuromuscular blocking agents in neurotoxic envenom. A deeply sedated patient may create confusion regarding level of neuroparalysis. If there is local pain and spreading edema, elevate the affected limb and allow it to rest on a sandbag. And then again the anti, uh, two major complication of uh, local complication are necrosis and gangrene. Local necrosis, intra compartmental syndrome and even thrombosis of major vessel, vessels is more likely in patient who cannot be treated with anti snake venom. So, persistent moderate swelling of the limb after viper bite can be successfully managed by systemic broad spectrum antibiotics and repeated magnesium sulphate comp compresses for 5 to 7 days. Surgical intervention may be required, but the risk of surgery in a patient with conjunction coagulopathy, thrombocytopenia and enhanced fibrolysis uh, no must be balanced with the with the with that of surgery. Give prophylactic broad spectrum uh, antimicrobial treatment for cellulitis after the completion of first 10 vials uh, is as following injection uh, moxicillin clavomanic acid 1.2 gram IV thrice daily for 7 days, then switch to oral therapy tablet um, uh, no, uh, to the tablets. Alternatively, injections septriazoxone uh, 1 gram IV daily uh, can also be given and injection metronidazole 400 milligram IV infusion thrice daily for 7 days. 
dermonecrosis may require skin grafting and gangrene requiring debridement and amputation. So, if we the local uh, sign and symptom are not manage, managed properly, then patient may uh, this may lead to ga uh, gangrene and local necrosis and ultimately patient may lose their limb uh, by amputation. So, you can see uh, the local necrosis in cobra bite, compartment syndrome in viper bite, gangrene due to light ligature. So, these are all the photographs from uh, West Bengal and this is magnesium sulphate compress compression, uh, new, thera new therapy of giving uh, uh, honey, honey dressing is also in, uh, in vogue, some of the people are doing it. So, you can see, but it is very important you can see this bangles are there and uh, all these things should be removed, uh, otherwise they would further compress uh, and uh, uh, give rise to uh, um, uh, gangrene and, uh, and uh, gangrene and loss of limb. So, then uh, these are the long term complication uh, at the bite site already discussed crony kidney disease, crony uh, pen hypopituitarism, uh, especially in uh, 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 Russell uh, viper bite and chronic neurological deficit, chronic psychological morbidities. Early clues that a patient has severe anemia, uh, snake identified, widely spaced fang puncture are there, rapid early extension of local swelling is there, early tender enlargement of local lymph nodes is there, systemic symptom are there, collapse, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, severe headache, heaviness of the eyelids, inappropriate rosiness, early tosis, ophthalmoplegia, early spontaneous systemic bleeding and patient not passing urine, passage of dark brown, black urine, all these are signs of uh, you know, uh, early clues of n meaning by snake bite. So, take home message is be confident to manage snake bite, most of the snake bite can be managed at PSC level, 70 percent of the snake bite are by non venomous snakes that can be managed there at the PSC and uh, do not kill uh, time before ASV is administered, neurological signs uh, uh, look more dangerous, but can be managed easily, viper bites are more dangerous should be referred early and anti snake wind use should be uh, early no bite mark, no re local reaction, snake not seen, but neurological signs are present means great bite. Uh, he may have some uh, pain abdomen, feeling uh, of vomiting uh, and all these signs and symptoms may point. You can see the picture of the kinetic bands, two two bands together like that. You see material for educating medical graduates, uh, you can see the mark, uh, you can see the venom fang, uh, it is, it is uh, you can see it, it is a hollow, um, hollowed structure, um, you can see, so structure. So, similarly, uh, we have focused, see no bangles, uh, no, you can uh, put the patient in left lateral position for transport by 108 uh, and then there are so many uh, myths that has been dealed, uh, dealt in this IC material. Uh, like uh, sampo ka khada nitte udne wala samp, sampo ki gati, samp ka dud pina, uh, nag mani, samp ke jode mein se kisi ek ko maar dal, dalo to dusra badra leta hai, spere ke bin pa dhun ka uh, sarp ni, all these uh, uh, myths have been, what is, kaha pe hai, is there, uh, there is right to do incision, yeah this is where uh, Mr. Bishal has raised a question. As I told you, do not wash the uh, bite site and uh, do not touch it, do not disturb it, otherwise uh, just uh, you know, uh, otherwise what would happen that uh, the more disturbance of the bite site would you know encourage venom absorption and patient uh, would get in venomation uh, early at the early, early stage. Yes, okay. Yes, sir. And uh, yes, sir. Dr. Shriya Pandey. Yes, Dr. Shreya Pandey, thank you for having such a patience. You were earlier also there, but we could not connect. Mostly patient reached to us with local extremity swelling after 12 hours with tonic, with normal physical examination. Sorry. Just wait, I am reading it. Yeah, like you said, they, they, they come late with swelling, uh, turning the normal physical exam, what should be done to them, refer them to higher center. So, uh, uh, see first you try to remove all the, um, the constricting devices like uh, bangles, uh, like uh, rings uh, and other any other uh, de device like that 
and uh, 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 see to it that you uh, do not immediately open the turnic without uh, uh, giving anti snake venom. Uh, Otherwise, there can be you know the shock and patient may collapse in front of you. So, this is very important that uh, uh, we should uh, deal with such patient with caution after assessing the entire uh, overall sign and symptoms. Uh, there is one more question, cobra snake bite uh, may first line treatment may subse pele gaon or kaswa level pe kya karna chahiye. So, this is already told you ki at the PSC level we should have uh, atropine neostigmine because that is even more important than anti snake venom in, uh, uh, in, in bilizies because if you give anti uh, uh, atropine neostigmine injection to the uh, cobra bite patient that may be life saving. Otherwise, uh, even if anti snake venom is given and these injections are not given, uh, the patient may not survive as, a, as I have shown you the examples in my presentation. How frequently? Yes, uh, I told you uh, uh, every half an hour you can do or uh, keeping uh, if the patient is ok, then you can do every, every 1 hour uh, 20 WBC test. But you should not wait for 20 WBCT test to, uh, to, to do if the bleeding is already there for uh, to more than 20 minutes. So, you kindly repeat the atropine neostigmine doses. Um, uh, Ma'am, already uh, uh, I have already shown uh, at, uh, atropine neostigmine uh, first give test dose and then give the full dose that is, all, that is already there in National Snake Bite Management Manual that you can refer to. Uh, by going to uh, the Google uh, Google search. So, thank you very much. I think there are more, not more, man, not many questions. And please go to the internet and uh, search for National Snake Bite Guidelines. It's a uh, around hundred page manual because uh, everything cannot be covered in one and a half uh, hour talk. So, uh, I'm very thankful to you for your patience. After a lot of uh, difficulty, we could connect to you. Um, we are sorry for those who has uh, who who has disconnected themselves and uh, but in case of any uh, any query you can call me anytime on my uh, 